Uh, yeah, back to you, Jules. Thank you very much. <laughs> Some people believe there are ghosts aboard the USS Hornet, one of America's most decorated warships. So Sandra Hughes recently spent a night aboard the giant aircraft carrier to see if she could catch the spirit. Many a sailor watched the sunset from the deck of the USS Hornet. Thousands went to war aboard her. Hundreds never came home. This ship has a presence about it. It has a presence that uh, uh, it almost, it's almost palpable. Built in 1943, this giant ship once ruled the Pacific, fighting the Japanese. During World War II, aircraft launched from the USS Hornet destroyed 1,400 enemy planes, more than any other aircraft carrier. And this ship never took a hit. That's why she's called the Grey Ghost. It's a name that now has almost an eerie feel, especially after the Hornet was taken out of active duty and refurbished as a museum. Things happen all the time on this ship. You get weird feelings as you're walking around, you see things. Bob Fowler is a museum docent who never believed in ghosts. He does now. Who do you think are these spirits? Are they people who died here? There are some that died here. Uh, we've got some that uh, may be trapped here because of the way they died. Some of them, they've died ashore after their service and they come back. Come back, according to some, because the days on board the USS Hornet were the best of their lives. Though the sailors were in combat, there was intense camaraderie. Another museum worker has experienced more than just feelings. Keith Ledoux says he's seen dead people. People in uniforms appearing and disappearing up in catwalks and areas. To date, there are about 200 reports of sightings arms and legs and blood. So psychics like oh, Annette oh, Martin Lord, are invited yeah. on the ship. Oh, I'm just covered with goosebumps. It, it, it's um, very morbid, very morbid in here. Very Along with parapsychologist Lloyd Auerbach, they're looking for ghosts in one of the ship's hot spots, the sick bay. Oh, someone came in from that door. This guy looks like a medic. Um, he's got like a white and a white smock around him and blood everywhere. Mm. Not pretty. Lloyd measures air disturbances. Annette leads him to the ghosts. So I'm gonna try to set this other one down. Let that settle down a little bit. There have been reports by a couple of people who we've talked to mm -hmm. that there's a section over here in the corner. Yeah, actually, the, the, best, the best spot is this desk area over here is oh. one of the, the hot spots. Okay. I actually just felt something hot on the back of my chair. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is perfectly cold. It's cold, yeah. It's not a surprise. Right. <laughs> that was really bizarre. Yeah. Not so bizarre for That's the professionals. The they claim these ghosts uh, are yeah, not angry or yeah. evil. They don't really want to harm you. What do they want? Just to have their presence known? Yes. Yes. Definitely. Do you think they mean you any harm, these spirits? Oh, I know they don't. But Bob Fowler says the ghosts are strong. This wrench jumped out and landed on the deck. This wrench weighs... Yeah, try and lift it. 80, 80 pounds. And 80. it just jumped out? Yeah. To all the reports that the USS Hornet is haunted, ship historian Alan McCain says there's not a ghost of a chance. If that's what they believe, good for them. Uh, I just don't think that's the, the, the case here. Boys became men on this ship, and their youth is here. I think they're looking out for their ship. I think they're making sure that we're taking good care of their ship. Watching over the gray ghost in her final resting place. For The Early Show, Sandra Hughes, CBS News, Alameda, California. Tomorrow, we'll explore another haunted hangout, a Scottish castle where the Queen Mother spent her childhood. But up next...